Rick B's Daily Vlogs. The once famous house right here on the corner of Fulton and Willard North. Right across the street from Golden Gate Park. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. This time, I'm not near no water, not near no pier. This time in the panhandle of Golden Gate Park. Right there, on a busy street, of Fulton Street. Right there, let's talk about a once famous house where a rock band, a rock band, a famous band, got their start and the house right there the Jefferson Airplane House let's go check this out let's go Grace Slick and the San Francisco group by the name of Jesse Jefferson Airplane right there at 2400 Fulton Street colonial revival style home built by an architect by the name of R.A. Vance the group was famous for songs like White Rabbit. Somebody to love. Again, a San Francisco rock band that pioneered their psychedelic rock formed in 1965. Songs made it commercial. Jack Cassidy, Grace Slick, Martin Ballin, Jorma. Cahoon, Paul Kantner, and Spencer Dryden wrote their famous songs, their famous group, right there, right there in that house. Not that far from where they got all the magic mushrooms, the magic beans, and the edibles on Hay Street, which is up that direction. But this is the house where Jefferson Airplane once acquired. Let's take a closer look. Let's make our way across the street. Make sure we do it safe. This house was built in the 1900s. They didn't move in here until 1965. Just imagine back in the 60s when Fulton Street right there wasn't so busy yet. They would go out through these main gates right here, walk down this little cobblestone path, maybe have a table or two set all the way in the back writing their famous songs, writing their famous hit songs. Smoking on a little, you know, getting inspired. This is where it all happened, right here. Check out the architectural design of the front of the house. Looks pretty cool, colonial style house, as they said, and if you look all the way up there, the way the top part of the house it looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They got uh, everything here is pretty much original from the front gate to the front door. I'm sure these guys or these gates weren't around back in the 60s because in the 60s everything was free flowing. So, pretty sure these gates were put in 70s, 80s just to keep people like me going on their property. I'm not on the property, I'm off the property, but you can see how far this house goes goes pretty far back it's actually considered a mansion it's considered a mansion I'm still back towards the back of the house you can see a little patio back there and the garage and something kind of weird is a star because back in the days after Jef Jefferson Airplane broke up Grace Slick came up with another group and called it Jefferson Starship who sang songs like We Built, we Built the City, City and the Mannequin Song then later on just dropped the Jefferson part and just called it Starship a little piece of history thought I'd share with you guys 
standing across the street from you can see a nice big I want to say that's a patio or I can't even call it a porch it looks like a nice big patio a deck maybe even if you look right above the garage there's another little little awning up there so that's probably another deck that they have right there this is one big massive house just imagine songs were written there or as they called it back in the 60s sex drugs and rock and roll cool piece of San Francisco history right here right there again not that far from the hate there's a couple houses in this neighborhood that's pretty popular too and I'm probably gonna touch on that maybe this week maybe maybe that's what I'll, maybe I'll do a like, quick rock and roll theme uh, Jefferson Airplanes the more popular one because of not the group because of how size that mansion is that's why it's popular the group made its name a lot of them during the Vietnam era during the Vietnam War that's when they got pretty popular because they were saying so singing a lot of songs that was anti-Vietnam anti-war anti-presidency so that's how they got popular but again there's a couple other houses musicians Grateful Dead house does that ring a bell Janis Joplin does that ring a bell all in this neighborhood well touch on that during the week but the first let's finish talking about the house sun's ready to set down there in the west up this direction you got the St. Ignatius Church USF and again Haight Street further up that way but just imagine back in the 60s this house this house was full full of life entertaining and again look how big it is just standing across the street on this side that's a massive massive mansion pretty cool pretty cool I'm pretty sure from the top floor the top deck that I was at just over there if you look that direction you can see a lot of Presidio Presidio Heights in the distance Golden Gate Bridge is towards that way so I'm pretty sure you can see the tips of Golden Gate, Golden Gate Bridge from the top of that house again it's a nice I keep calling it a house but it's a mansion it's a freaking mansion now I say this in a lot of the vlogs that I do, especially when I talk about houses. These guys, Jefferson Airplane, don't live in this house anymore. And this is a private residence. I'm standing on public property, which is the sidewalk. I'm not crossing any parts of the house, so I'm not disturbing the peace or I am not stalking them. Do not ring the doorbell of the house asking if this is Jeff Jefferson Airplane's house once before. Do not do that. They do not live here. These are, again, a private residence who just happens to have a nice big mansion that was once, once occupied by a famous group back in the 60s, Jefferson Airplane. All right, guys, quick, quick San Francisco adventure to talk about a history of a house that was once made famous by a group who was anti-war, talked about drugs, talked about the war, psychedelic group back in San Francisco who again who spent a lot of time probably in this yard right there to sing songs about White Rabbit we built this city I'm not sure if they I'm not sure if they were still here when they sang we built this city on rock and roll but when they were singing that song they were talking about this city right here San Francisco we built this city on rock and roll but right there one last look the nice Jefferson Airplane Mansion right behind me right there once home of Grace almost like Grace Jones, pretty slick. And Grace Jones was the bald-headed woman in the James Bond movie. I believe that was her. This is Grace Slick's house, right there. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Getting a little bit better, went to work today for the first time in a while. Ribs still a little sore, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the weather. No rain. So the vlog is going to continue again tomorrow, maybe with another famous house here in San Francisco that was once occupied by musicians back in the 60s. We shall see. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, better get on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Here, 
from Fulton Street, Lone Mountain area, right in front of the Grace Jones. Grace Jones, I said it again, right in front of the Grace Slick. Grace Slick and the Jefferson Airplane House. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ending. Go in peace. A lot of people walking by, not even knowing this mansion. It's part of a famous group who built this city on rock and roll.